I was on a dive boat the other day with a young woman who had just passed her instructor exam and she asked me what advice I have for her as someone newly certified as an instructor. Well, sometimes my content just writes itself, so I'm going to tell you what I told her. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see all of your smiling faces. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I try and mix up the content that I offer on this channel to target different groups of people, and we have made videos in the past with advice for new dive instructors. But this was something that came up in a timely sort of you know, manner that this young lady asked me for advice. I was very flattered. So I'm gonna give you the first five points that I gave her just off the top of my mind. Of course, I could talk about this for ages and there may be follow-up videos with points six through 10 and 11 through 15 in the future, who knows? Of course, feel free to add to my five points in the comment section below. What do you wish you'd known when you finished your IE that you only learned later through experience? And if you were trained by a newly certified instructor, let me know in the comments how did they do? And yeah, if I sound a little hoarse, guys, I'm just getting over a bit of a head cold. It's, it's pretty much gone now, but I'm a little bit stuffy. I'm really gonna try and condense all the advice I could give to a newly certified instructor down into five simple messages. It was not easy, but here we go. Safety first always. This is a no-brainer. Your primary job as a dive instructor is to stop your students from injuring or killing themselves or other people at the level of which they were training for. And they will try. They will. Remember that training and certification are two totally different things. It is your name and your reputation and your legal culpability that is imprinted on every cert card that you issue. So, if you would not want to let your student buddy up with one of your loved ones at the level that they're training for, do not certify them and never let anyone, not your boss, not the student, not the dive shop owner, pressure you into issuing certs to student divers who are not ready. Oh yes, this happens. Do not be forced to dive with students because of scheduling pressure. Oh, we've got to get this course done. If the dive conditions are unfavorable, the dive conditions are unsafe. And if all else fails, make sure your paperwork is in order. Number two, focus on the fundamentals. Your next job after safety is to make your student divers ambassadors for the sport of scuba diving. So when I see divers on the boats just crushing it, just low breathing rate, great trim, excellent buoyancy control, and then I found out that they only have like four or six log dives, I immediately want to ask them, oh, who was your instructor? And often I'll try and track down that instructor on social media and send them a congratulatory note for turning out really well-trained divers. I think it's a nice thing to do. Hey, I saw your divers on the boat, they were crushing it, you did a great job with them. If you get your students to focus on the four fundamentals of scuba diving, breathing, buoyancy, trim, and propulsion, at any level of training, you will produce students who enjoy their diving more, stay in the sport for longer, and become your representatives, your ambassadors. So every type of diving imaginable boils down to just those four skills. And I want you to think about your students as, for Harry Potter fans out there, your horcruxes. Like in Harry Potter, every student breaks off a piece of your soul and takes it with them so you become immortal. Tip number three is back yourself. There are two kinds of newly qualified instructors that I've personally observed. The first group are the super cocky know-it-alls. I just passed my IE and I think I'm God's gift to diving. I have all the confidence in the world and I have no idea about all the things I do not know. This was definitely me back in the day. And to those people and to my former self, I would say, the upper slopes of Mount Everest are littered with the bodies of people who were once very confident and highly motivated. So maybe calm the fuck down a little. Right now, I'm talking to the second group, those who pass their IE and have zero certs under their belt, and maybe they're feeling a little anxious or a little self-conscious about starting teaching scuba diving and taking someone else's safety in their hands for the first time. Back yourself. You must have some skills to have made it as far as you've made it. But also, don't feel any pressure to rush straight into solo teaching. You have options. 
it is perfectly okay to ask a more seasoned instructor than yourself, hey, do you mind if I buddy teach, team teach, or assist you with your courses whilst I get into the rhythm of actually running a course for myself? Ease into it. And remember, you can't be the world's worst dive instructor. She's in Montana. Tip number four is remember that course standards are minimums. Ah, standards. Yes, the guiding rules and qualifications that provide the structure and outline for the courses that you will teach. Normally written by people who don't actually do any active teaching themselves because they're sitting in an office writing course standards. I've said it before on this channel, but it bears repeating, course standards are the minimum requirement for every course. So if you complete only what's written on your shiny new instructor slates, your student is passing with a C minus. If you want to make A plus divers, you need to teach more than the minimum requirements. Hear me now, this does not mean that you break standards, never break standards. If the max depth for a course is 60 feet, don't take your students to 62 feet. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there's a lot you can teach your students that isn't written on those white plastic slates. Dive boat etiquette, tipping etiquette, gear maintenance, gear buying advice, dive destination advice, overviews of different styles of diving. The more you put into your courses, the more your students will get out of it. Go that extra mile and be the best instructor you can be. Tip number five, of course, is never stop learning. Completing your instructor exam can absolutely feel like you've reached the summit. And it is a massive achievement, don't get me wrong, congratulations. But there is no end to what you can still learn in the scuba diving universe. I am still taking courses and learning new skills after nearly 20 years as a dive professional. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in next week's video. In the short term, the next thing on your list as soon as you finish your IE should be learning how to teach. But James, isn't that what the instructor training program taught me that I just paid all this money for? No. The instructor training program taught you how not to kill your students. It didn't teach you about scheduling classes or how to spot students of similar interests and abilities to buddy up in classes. You can only learn that by actually teaching students. Uh, unless you did your IE at your home dive center, you might still have to figure out how to price your courses and rental gear for your students. Where, what's that gonna look like? Or what are you gonna use as confined water? Once you have all that set up and you are teaching regularly and churning out high level divers, what do you want to learn next? I firmly believe that putting yourself back in the student seat, taking annual courses, reading, being autodidactic makes you a better dive instructor. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video had value for you. If you are a new instructor, just over here, I will put a whole playlist of videos aimed at people who just finished their IE. If you enjoyed or learned something from this video, consider giving it the old like button, thumbs up, share it with your IE buddies, and subscribe to our channel just down there if you haven't done so already. I greatly appreciate it. It helps us to keep making this content. My name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often.